what you see in front of you is an image which is set at a screen resolution of 4096 pixels by 2160 pixels high which is, has a ratio of 17 units wide by 9 units high now what that is is the screen resolution of a GoPro video that's been recorded at the setting of 4K 17 to 9 ratio. What I want to run through here now is um, a couple of different snapshots or scenarios that relate to the different screen resolutions that are produced by the different settings for video capturing in a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition camera. And uh, this is one of the things that a lot of people don't understand. But a little understanding of this helps us make uh, the right choices about the different video resolutions that we utilize to capture footage for recording and making the videos that we're going to produce. So again, let's just start. This is at the largest setting that we get, which is 4K 17 to 9 ratio. Now, the 4K setting, the straight 4K setting is a 16 to 9 ratio. So the image size is slightly different. It's slightly thinner and it has a 3840 wide, uh, pixels wide situation. So notice that it just pulled it or made it a little bit, little bit thinner, but it has the same height here now. These, this 16 to 9, 17 to 9 ratio is closer to what we would see with the naked eye. When we start to get into the 4 to 3 ratio, then that starts to skew it and squash it up into a square shape and uh, the image is actually distorted, which is what you'll see with some of the different capture settings with the GoPro camera. Now, the, notice the width of this. So this is the full screen or the full size that we're going to use as a baseline. And as I run through these different settings, you'll notice that it'll start to shrink and get smaller and smaller. An important point to remember is that when you record at a smaller screen resolution and then you expand it to fit the screen that you're viewing it upon, the smaller the resolution that you capture it at, capture it at the more chance there is pixelation when it's expanded to be viewed on a particular screen. So a small captured, a small resolution video that is captured and played on a, um, a mobile phone or something like that is going to be fairly clear. But then if you take that video and you play it on a computer, it might not be so clear. It might be quite pixelated. So you always got to keep that in mind as you capture these things. So let's go to 2.7K 17 to 9 ratio. Okay, that particular screen resolution is 2000. Oh, by the way, before I go to that, notice... Uh, that 4K settings are in the vicinity of 4,000 pixels wide, hence the name 4K. When we go to 2.7K settings, notice that we're in the vicinity of 2,700 pixels wide. That's how we got the name, 4K and 2.7K. So the 2.7K 17 to 9 ratio is 2,704 pixels wide by 1,440 pixels high. That's what you see. Notice it's a bit smaller than the 4K 17 to 9 ratio, so it's shrunk just a little bit. But the advantage that the 2.7K has over the 4K setting is that the frame rate is much higher and you have a, a few more options around field of view settings. So the straight 2.7K is the same width, 2,704 pixels, but it is 1,524 pixels high. So it just kind of expands it a little bit from a height perspective. And this is our preferred setting for capturing video that we're utilizing for some of our online training or recording the work that we're doing with clients from an indoor and uh, a presentation perspective. It's much closer to what we would see with the naked eye. And it's uh, one of the ones that I like more than the others. So the next setting I run to is the 1440p, which is 19... 20 wide by 1440, hence the name, high. Now, this has a ratio of 4 to 3. Notice that we're getting closer to the square. So as you run through the instruction booklets around uh, the utilization of uh, Hero 3, GoPro cameras, irrespective of the Hero version, I guess, if you see the 4, .3, uh, 4 to 3 ratio, you'll notice that they're much more squarer, whereas the 16 to 9, 17 to 9 have um, more of a widescreen view, and they tend to be much closer to what you would see with the naked eye, um, given the distortion that you get with this particular footage or, or screen resolution that you see here. So that's the 1440p. Let's go to the 1080p, which is 1920 wide, but 1080p, what do you reckon height it'll be? It'll, it's obviously 1080 high. So 
it now goes from a 4 to 3 ratio back to a 16 to 9 ratio. And this is much closer again, as I said earlier, to what you would see with the naked eye. However, 1080p is just a lot smaller than the 2.7K. The advantage that you get over the 2.7K with 1080p is that you have a higher frame rate um, a range of choices here. So you can capture the video with more frames per second and then it uh, becomes more useful from an action perspective, from a slow motion perspective. In addition to that, you also have uh, different options around field of view settings. So that's 1080p. Let's go to 1080p super view, which is exactly the same ratio and the same dimensions. 1920 by 1080. When we go to the next one, which is the 960p, again, 960 gives you a little bit of a clue around what the um, screen resolution is going to be. It's 1280 wide by 960 high. Notice that it shrinks because we're going back to a 4 to 3 ratio. So the difference between the 960p and the 720p's, the 960p is captured at a 4 to 3 ratio and that tends to distort the video. Whereas the 720p is not captured at the 4 to 3, it's captured at the 16 to 9 ratio, which is uh, ultimately results in less distortion. So it's not 960 high, 720p is 720 high. And this is much closer to what we would see with the naked eye. 720p is very similar to what you see with the uh, 1080p, 1080p super view, uh, 2.7K and 4K. The only difference is the size and the amount of pixelation that occurs. So, 780, uh, 720p super view is identical to that. The only one we haven't covered is the WVGA. And again, it, we, we're getting much smaller. This, one, this, is, this particular um, uh, video resolution setting captures footage at a frame rate of 240 frames per second. So brilliant for slow motion. The only issue with it is the screen resolution is very small so the image looks something like this it's the 16 to 9 ratio which i believe is important because it's much better to, uh, much better fit with the what we see with the modern widescreen uh, computers and uh, it's much closer to what we would see with the naked eye however it's so small that when we expand it to be to view this on uh, a computer or a video screen or something like that then the pixelation begins to appear so when you're recording the WVGA you want to be recording nice and close that you're getting a lot of clarity a lot of information in your video but uh, again 240 frames per second who can argue with that that's going to be brilliant for video slow motion so there you have it that's the range of video settings that we see with the uh, GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition